The mythology of Charlie Manson has come to mean, above all else, vicious murder. But those terrible acts were never what he was aiming for. The real story of Charlie Manson is music. I don't think Charlie could have been Charlie without the music. He was a poet, and he really believed in his music. Music was the vehicle. He really wanted to spread his philosophy. To me, that seemed to be the most important and overriding agenda. In 1968, cult leader and singer-songwriter Charles Manson gained access to the top tier of the Los Angeles music world. Only a year later, he was accused of being the most dangerous man alive.